you want to start with the initial thoughts on the performance of the win? Very glad about the win. Uh, very tough conditions in that in that last 15 minutes of the game. Uh, they won the toss and elected to play against the wind. I think both teams did their own work about the weather. We knew the weather was was coming in, and uh, we created quite a few chances in that, that first half. Um, big call there uh, on the knock on uh, on their goal line. Um, I'll just leave it at that. And then. Um, in the second half, uh, they just played the, the conditions pretty well and uh, pinned us in half. And the longer the game went on, the last 20 minutes, you didn't want actually want the ball because it was so difficult to handle. And then I thought um, Alana contesting one at the, at, at the end. So very good late about the win. What was the message coming from you and the rest of the coaches when the weather kept getting worse at the game at all? Yeah, I don't think there was any message about the weather. We, we planned for it all week. Uh, we knew it was a chance that it's going to happen, and you know, when we arrived, uh, we knew um, that that it was coming in. So we planned for it, and the players uh, executed pretty well in, in that second half. And it, it was so tough. Um, and uh, you know, we've, we've played in these conditions before, and um, uh, not a lot of points in that second half were there. John, is there any frustration that allowed them to go away with it? Not allowed them. That's the wrong word. But that the fact that they got a losing goal point there could be. It could be. Um, and I thought we were uh, unlucky. It hit, it hit the post and it bounced back, and they charged. Uh, I think Chris down there, and you know we defended quite well. So small margins. Um, we'll, we'll take a win against the uh, Saracens any day of, of the week. And <laughs> right from the start, we knew this pool was was going to be tight. And you know, from our point of view, we are still unbeaten in in this group. Um, a way win with a bonus point. Uh, home win against Saracens and a draw against Racing Metro, um, so it's going to go right down to the wire. Anything we can control is, is obviously next week against Saracens again in London. What was your take on the Arnold decision? I'll have to go and have a look at it again. Um, initial thoughts: if he didn't have any choice, look, it, hap it happened so quickly. It was it was literally, um, you know, instinct by Arnie. It was actually such a great carry. And, you know, unfortunately, if if his if his forearm made contact with the head, that if he doesn't have any de decision to to uh, award a red card, obviously he feels bad about it. Uh, it. It happens in a split second, and you now we'll just go and have to look about it and at it. And it was unfortunately the last blow of the game. And then it went to that lineout and thought we handled that quite well. Is a sending off sufficient a realistic ambition to when you're going to a disciplinary modern professional rugby? Yeah, look, I, I don't want to get into that. There's, there's people employed to do that job. Um, all I can do is, is focus on the things that we can control. It, it, it happened so quickly. There was there was other instances in, in this game where there were clean outs and you know, they definitely deemed that, that fair and we've just got to respect the decisions and, and move on. And, no, it's a, it's a world class referee, and you've got to you've got to stick with his decisions. And spoke to him after the tunnel, and you know um, that's just the way sport goes. And um, you know, that's why he's one of the best in in the world. Johan Mark McCall was saying after the game that those who are arrested tonight will be available next weekend. <coughs> Their perspective is obviously a massive test. Uh, oh, look, um, you know, we, we can't control what, whatever selection any team that ever plays against us do. Um, you know, they've they've got to make their calls. Um, you know, and um, if if certain teams rest players, then certain people just assume that it's their B team. They are the European and the Premiership champions. And if you've got to look at the players that played in that team tonight and. No, um, what people don't see is uh, our guys fighting for every single inch. And if you look at some of the injuries that we've got in 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 our positions, um, you know we are thin in certain areas, and we've just got to go out there and play. And all with respect to the 23 guys that went out there to battle tonight, and uh, I thought they they battled for for literally what was it, 81, 82 minutes against the European champions at home, and we got a win against Saracens at home. Peter, how difficult was it out there in those kind of conditions? It was very difficult. Um, you know, they're they're kind of the nights that you almost don't want to have the ball. It's it's almost a liability. It's that bad. So, um, you know, score the second half probably says it all. It was a game of defences. Um, you know, we've certainly plenty to work on. Um, 
but look, there was a lot of positives to take. I thought the first half was really good. Uh, played some really good rugby. Um, probably our, one of our best defensive displays first half. Um, so, you know, plenty of positives, but um, you know, plenty of work on as well. He was a big place for Jack O'Donnell when he came on. What is he in the development team? Because when he's younger, he's all about to carry, but those big moments are. Yeah, very important for us. <coughs> um, Jack's been around a long time now. He seems like a young fella, but he's. Uh, we were. I think we were only having this discussion yesterday. I think he could be playing a monster jersey for about seven years now, which is a long time. Um, he, he's an incredibly important part of the squad. He's uh, he's second to none lineup wise. He's one of the best lineup operators, jumpers I've come across. Um, very diligent, um, credible professional, great guy to have in the squad. Um, I don't think he's had a bad poor performance in a, in a long, long time. Shows up week in, week out. Uh, great for us to play alongside. You know, how did you feel that back row balance went with Ty there and then Jack coming up? I think pretty well actually. Um, we knew the the threats that uh, the Saracens line up pose and now. Um, Will Skelton with, with those seams and uh, you know, some of some of the tactics they use are pretty difficult to to stop and that's why we went there and I thought tight did, did pretty well and you know, Billy Holland is an an unsung hero in this team he, the amount of work that, that he puts in the lineup was a massive battle uh, they read our second lineup pretty well and then in the second half we read quite a few of theirs and. The important thing is, is you know, the the lineup battle in the game of rugby. That that was huge tonight against uh, you know, two quality sides that that went uh, at each other. Uh, it's difficult to say through through a 60 or 70 minute performance um, because the conditions were so difficult for the team that that played against the wind and and so good for the team that played with the wind. So uh, we'll we'll spend some more time on it, and you know, who knows what what we'll do next week. Um, Got to start again, and uh, you know this is like this match rugby when you play each other two weeks in a row. You've got to look at what you did and what they did, and uh, both teams will come up with new plans in in seven days' time. Jack obviously just went on to start out against what must be good. Yeah, I think um, you know it's uh, it's the one area where we are um, not hit by injury at this stage is, is the back row. I think Tommy O'Donnell is pretty unlucky not even to get into the 23 at this stage. Um, you know, hopefully Chris Kluder will will be back within uh, a week or two, and you know, CJ and Pete are, are established internationals and established starters. And you know, that seven position, Tommy has done well there. Jack's done well there. Um, you know, and Pete went there tonight. Um, so you know, we've got options there. And you know, I think it just showed again tonight because of the attrition of of the season, uh, you need forwards to to come off the bench, and you know that's what we did tonight. What's the minimum you need to get over next week? I'd like to to think that um, you know, we'll every single game we want to win, so it'll be a massive challenge to, to go and challenge them there. Obviously, what what you learn through the history of Europe is you've got to try and pick up points on on the road, whether it be a win or a, or a bonus point. But I haven't even thought about next week yet. Um, take stock of of what happened and where are we at, and look at um, at our, our squad, and then look at the the context of the pool, and then start again tomorrow morning.